Evelina Zimanavichute. How are you doing, Evelina? That's great. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear my uh, surname pronounced perfectly. <laughs> what are, so what well are, done to you. <laughs> is that, I mean, I, I'm Italian, but I'm fair advantage. We discussed this before, <laughs> before the call. What are, I've been, I'm curious now, what have been some of the other ways you've been uh, creatively called? <laughs> <laughs> oh, any all possible ways, but not the way it really is. <laughs> so we're talking today about how you raise your visibility, how you got online, a live speaking engagement. Uh, and before before we do that, um, if you can tell us a bit more about uh, what your business is uh, and and what you're doing at the moment, that will be. A great starting point. Yeah, so I have two sides of my business. So I have Elite Mind, uh, which is more of a leadership development consultancy um, that is oriented to uh, bridging the gap between leadership performance and well being. So incorporating all of the mental health side of it um, through neuroscience training. And then um, um, other part of the business is Elite Mind Academy, which is really more of a training. Uh, mm -hmm. side of it that, that is uh, delivering ready-made products and, and and training courses to to, to the clients yeah i mean you're doing an incredible an incredible job in particular because uh, now a lot of, when people run their business or in their corporate space uh, there is not uh, a lot of understanding about how our mind works and uh, <laughs> you know and then people uh, wonder why employees are unhappy, their business is not profitable and so on, but because they're missing like the basics and the foundation. And I'm so happy that before even starting my, my business, I was actually trained in, not at the level where you're at, but I had some foundations on the mindset side and how it works and how our mind works. Because at the end of the day, like business uh, work, is more of a mental game than anything else. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And as much, it, it's so much more than just thinking about it and so much more than mindset because we live in this world where we think you know we are rational intelligent human beings but actually in reality every day we're just driven by some of you know automatic habits behaviors emotional impulses and all of these reptilian sides of our brain that that are running us on on daily basis right so uh, the only way to kind of take control of that and utilize that is by by learning how our brain really works and not just brain our body as well learning kind of intuitively you know how we can create our best performance and and create all of these habits for uh for success and productivity and well-being as well because that's the problem that i could see that a lot of yeah, uh, yeah. business owners are either performing and flying and then burn out or those who are looking after well-being very well they don't really achieve much in a business <laughs> so, <laughs> <that> is, <laughs> so what are you doing i'm meditating 24 hours a day i'm like oh, okay what are, <laughs> how are you gonna get anything done <laughs> so, yeah exactly yeah well it's possible yeah i had i had to burn myself before before i had to discover ways of doing that but it's uh, great to be able to help people to do that Absolutely, and it's so important. So uh, now you uh, joined GDEX, uh, I think the first program that came on was about was a few years ago. Yeah, uh, was like, like four three, or five. Like yeah. three, four years ago. Um, so, uh, and also just recently, you more recently you joined our Profile Builder program. So why did you join uh, our programs in the first place? Uh, what was uh, that said, okay, now um, I want to work with you and I want to work in, and I want you to help, like GTEx to help me in this. In yeah. This well, I think um, I think first of all, GTEx was recommended to me by somebody else who had uh, already great benefits from working with you guys. So I already knew that 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 I'm in safe hands. Uh, but it's <laughs> when, you have, when you have good recommendations for sure. But really, I think I think I think what made my decision is the fact that you know when you are working on your own when you when you're having your own business um it's so easy to get lost in all of that creative part of it right dreaming and making big plans and you know seeing how much more is there to learn but then i realized like hell how do i put that all in practice it's like i need a strategy i need to learn marketing i need to learn how to put myself out there i need to learn you know all of these things that um you know, yeah, I might be a very good coach and therapist mm -hmm. and consultant, but 
how how do you make business out of it and yeah. and uh, and you definitely help me to clarify um strategy behind a lot of things that i do and put it into into place into kind of a systemic ways of working that you know it's not just some ideas in my head but now i have plan i have steps to follow now i have ways to measure my performance i i, I know what to look for and 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 kind of ways to, to, to improve yeah well uh, thank you for sharing and uh, you know it, it is a it, you, you said something great uh, uh, the fact that you are doing that you're great at doing what you do doesn't actually necessarily mean that you're going to be great at running your business they yeah, are they absolutely. are two completely different skills and two that was my biggest frustration that you know sometimes you you watch some videos online or you know kind of social media gurus sharing the blueprints for success and you <laughs> see that clearly it's like their knowledge and their expertise is non-existent and in in comparison to let's say what what, what i have and yeah, then they're yeah. somehow they're having this amazing business and i'm struggle so like what, what 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 is happening there you know it's definitely you know the business skills is something yeah. completely different to your expertise and and that's kind of art and science that you know you guys managed to package it in the right box and wrap it in a you know shiny wrapper and present it to the world. <laughs> uh, you, you know, it, it came it came from the same frustration. I was in the same place. I was like, I'm yeah. I'm really good at what I do, but no one is seeing it, and it, it really came out of necessity. And that's why we're able to un really yeah. understand what people are going through because it's just like we weren't born with the not I wasn't born with natural business skills. I had no, to work really, are, right? <laughs> really hard. I had to work really hard to gain them, and, um, uh, and I understand how difficult the process is. But also, just because it's difficult doesn't mean that it's not possible and it's not important. Yeah. Uh, and so, everyone that makes their own choices on okay, and I really need to go and understand the business dynamics. So, what we're going to talk today, and this is the, the what we're going to go deeper in, is on the visibility side. Um, yeah. As part of the Profile Builder, uh, that's the program we focus on building your audience, building your visibility. And you did an incredible work there. Uh, there are very few people that applied everything they've learned through the program as you did. So what I would love to uh, start with is uh, what, are, what are some of the things that uh, uh, you uh, achieved as part of it? And then we are going to look at how did you do it? Because... Uh, in, in every situation, in every, I, I don't believe that uh, we can provide the framework. We can provide the strategies. But at yeah, the end absolutely. of the day, you are the one doing the work. And that's why there are people that will get more results and people that will get other different results. So if we start some of the things that you have been doing, then we can look at, okay, what did you bring to the table to make it happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, definitely. I think I've been, you know, very privileged to 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 be able to do that work with with you and and with Michelle, uh, with with that profile building program because that really prepared me for the current situation that we are in. I think now everybody is online, and your visibility is so crucial in in in, in this challenge, right? And especially the reason why I kind of sign up for that is because I'm. My my clients were pretty much you know corporate clients you know I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not kind of providing public yeah. services and therefore how do you then raise your profile and visibility if really all of my clients are kind of you know behind the closed doors and and all of these kind of private referrals so the only way for me to kind of raise that that profile was to to um, to, to get more speaking engagements, to be mm -hmm. more visible, to, to, to promote myself, what I do to wider audience and, and raise that awareness. Yeah. So so definitely it's it's been great to have a system of how exactly do you put yourself out there because I had no clue how to do that before I started on the program. So what are some of the things that you find that worked better for you uh, in terms of getting uh, those gigs, getting and raising your profile? Well, actually, um, learning how to utilize my own existing connections and doing already research in, you know, what who are other people in the field who are doing the similar work and leveraging their connections. So, so Michelle had this, uh, you know, amazing approach of looking at different ways yeah. um, 
of finding these right people uh, who are speaking at maybe similar events that I would like to speak, who are putting themselves in front of audience that are also my ideal audience. So that was great. It's just kind of having those steps allow me to then kind of go out and, 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 and do the research and dig deep and build this engagement, build those right connections with the right people that of course over time with 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 consistent effort it it, it definitely uh, delivers results so you're talking about consistent effort mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about uh, let's quantify that consistent effort because i see mm -hmm. sometimes people have a an idea of what a strategy can look like and then uh, okay. reality hits and then you're seeing actually how much work how much work you have to do behind the scene to make it happen. So to build some of the relationships that you have built, can you talk a bit more about the process? Like what did you do? How long it took? How many times you had to follow up? That will that can give like a good picture of what you did to make it happen. Yeah, well, it's it's difficult to say. It's actually um it's it's first step is of course, you know, doing the research. And and of course it takes a couple of weeks to first kind of research, okay, who are the right people to follow? What mm -hmm. are the right events to attend? Yeah. And when you're finding those right events, then you do all the all the research of um, finding right people behind those <laughs> events. Who are the yeah. organizers? Who are sponsors? Who who are there? So it probably takes, you know, a few weeks, a month. Um, obviously you know i don't know a couple of hours a week really just kind of a um, yeah. couple of days a week really to going in and 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 finding that out and once you find that then it's connecting with the right people and providing value to them so it's not um you know jumping in and saying oh i see this event um i would like to be a speaker but really just putting yourself in a front of of them attending maybe some of their events and mm. providing value so for example uh, steps would be finding a right event, then connecting with the right person on LinkedIn, yeah. and then commenting on their posts. So going you know, for a few weeks in a row, uh, going on, on, on whatever that they are engaging, uh, you know, liking their posts, making valuable contributions, not just liking it and saying, great. <laughs> But actually, Great post. Thank you for yeah, sharing. But, but actually adding valuable comments saying, well, yeah. this is great. I agree about this point on leadership. Uh, you know, there is also additional benefits that we could do by taking steps X, Y, Z. So you're constantly adding value. So that person, so basically making yourself visible in front of, the, of, of those people. And then when they're arranging some event, you are then posting some... Um, some again valuable um, yeah. uh, contributions that you could make to that event saying oh i have seen your agenda about this event that looks great i have noticed that you are missing insert your area of expertise <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. and therefore you know i could contribute this and this uh, and that would be the value to your audience and and obviously uh, that the, the the fact that I've already kind of um, made made an effort to connect with those right people that I'm already visible by them before I send that proposal that already puts me ahead of all the other speakers as you can imagine there's so many proposals that are being submitted for for every <laughs> every event right so so it's thinking ahead and thinking how can you put yourself ahead of that how can you put yourself um in front of those people before you even have to apply other way also engaging sponsors right so if there are event organizers um they also have some sponsors so connecting with their sponsors and engaging with them so then when you get to engage with uh, with event organizers they already see that you actually have a relationship with sponsors that already gives you another kind of winning winning advantage so so it's really um yeah it is that kind of consistent messaging of going finding the right event and and kind of going after it in preparation for it yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, what you said right now like is uh, is some is summarize <laughs> like what people can do what everyone can do to get speaking engagement and uh, right now you might be thinking okay well there is the coronavirus there is the lockdown um but these strategies they actually work in the same way 
to get on online stages well it's even better because because to be honest because of all this work that i've done because i had created that visibility because i have been engaging now what i found that during this situation i don't need to submit proposals anymore <laughs> because yeah. i've been visible and because i've been sharing you know thank you for attend you, you know inviting me to speak at this mm -hmm. event you know i've been privileged to speak at this event suddenly now you you are, you, you are being seen as a speaker in that field yes. now people start to approach me so especially in this in this situation um internet is overcrowded with webinars with <laughs> <online> <laughs> it's like how the heck do you stand out so the fact that now i don't even need to go out to promote myself and now people are contacting me so just in the last two weeks i think i've done probably five podcasts and interviews mm -hmm. and next week as well i am next thursday i am um i'm doing opening keynote talk for Oxford Summer School um, retail um, organization uh, that will be, you know, in audience for, for audiences of, um, you know, all of the <laughs> uh, directors and 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 senior leaders of uh, of all of the big retail high street stores like John yeah. Lewis, Debenhams, and Spec Savers, and and all, all of those. And uh, and it's great. I mean, I've I've been approached by them um to do that i didn't have to actually go and promote myself and that is great that is definitely once you put that consistent effort and consistent work over a period of time you can see you can see the results and and, and benefits of that absolutely it's about the consistency it's about yeah. it's really about consistency putting the right things in the, in place and uh, it, it takes time now at the beginning you might work for a year and a very little results. But then what you see is just all you've done is compounding and then you arrive Absolutely. to a point where it is reversed. And what unfortunately yeah. people are expecting and I'm finding what people really want, which mm -hmm. is a, very unrealistic, is to say, well, no one knew me before. I just want people to come to me. Yeah, which obviously it's not going to happen. And and obviously at the beginning, it is a little bit frustrating because you you think, oh my God, I'm putting this work, I'm contacting people, I'm putting all of these proposals and like oh, nothing is happening. But actually it's not true because you're building something. You know, you might not see, it's like when you build a house, you can't see the foundations, right? Yes. But the house will not stand without those foundations. So you have right. to take time to build something uh, that will not be visible. <laughs> But, but it will provide that stable ground for uh, for your visibility later on, yeah. So, so uh, if someone uh, uh, wants to grow their visibility, um, if someone wants to get on more podcasts, get more speaking engagement, whether it's online or offline, get more seen in your field, what will be the best piece of advice that you can give them? Well, really know your audience. You know, know your audience, know what is the value that you provide and what you want to be known for. And once you once you know that, use that as a consistent message to find right people and connect with them yeah. and show that value that, that you bring. It's really about first understanding yourself. You cannot go and promote something that is fluffy and and it's something else that everybody else is doing. It's It's yeah. really having that clarity starting with, who am I? What I, what I want to be known for? What is the value that I provide? And with that message, that it makes much much easier to 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 connect and send right messages to to right people. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, uh, you're you're so on point because a lot of people, what they are looking at, you know, they're looking at the fancy strategies. Oh, tell me how do I get the leads? Tell me how do I get the event organizer? Tell me how do I create the best talks? Tell me this, tell me that. Yeah, and there's a word. For that to first define your your niche, define your expertise, and again, that's where some of your courses and some workshops can provide that 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 standing standing ground uh, to, mm -hmm. to to build on. Because uh, everything that. else, everything okay. else, once you have that clarified, it comes easier. Yeah, everything else really comes easier. It is uh, uh, again back to basics, uh, and yeah. it is is never and is a work even with your avatar, with the people that you're doing, which is consistently evolving because you evolve as a person your business evolves i mean i'm sure that the people the awareness that you have now about your ideal clients and the the, the ideal organizers 
is very different from the awareness that you had last year, for example. Oh, it is absolutely. And the the most uh, the key learning that I actually took out all of this that is so much simpler than you think. I've started with basics. So I've started, for example, with stress resilience and making sure that your when you go out. Uh, for this high high level performance, you don't yeah. compromise your well being. I've started with that stress resilience, and then after that, I went on and start building, you know, neuroscience of leadership and all of that, you know, leadership consulting and development and all of these things. And it kind of gets lost, and then you kind of start to think, well, what was happening here? And and it you realize that the simpler the better, and like. I kind of through all of this exploration and discovery, I'm coming back again, back to basics of mm -hmm. right, the difference in how we respond to challenges and that stress resilience. And that's your kind of entry point yes. that then open doors to everything else, to all this leadership development and consulting and speaking. But the more specific, the more narrow niche you can create, the better. And most of the time we just overcomplicate things. <laughs> yes, we do. We do. So start when you're starting. Yeah. Start somewhere, find you, yeah. find a direction, and then narrow it down, narrow it down, narrow it down as you go along. So even exactly. right now, if you're at the beginning, don't get super caught up and so I need to really narrow it down because it will come with the time. But if you have yeah. been broad for a while, now is really time to focus in because then you can carve yourself a really nice position in your market. Yeah. Uh, so, Evelina, what are before we wrap up? What are you What are you currently working on? What are some of the things that you're up to, and how can people get in touch with you if they they want to know more about the work that you're doing or work with you as well? Yeah. So the most exciting project now that I have is um, I've uh, I've partnered up with. Um, with first beats technology that are uh, that is heart rate uh, variability monitors that you wear for three days and it provides all of the data on your um, stress levels on your quality of your sleep on your on your exercise on your okay. recovery in all of that and I'm using that now uh, to uh, with my coaching clients to build completely unique tailored programs for, for, wow. their, for their habits for tailoring all of their personal and professional development in a way that is you know already backed up with all of that scientific data and then using all of the neuroscience tools like right how do we look at this and boost your performance in a way that uh you still maintain that's the brilliant monitor yeah. that so it's really really exciting so um yeah any more information about what i do also building some some e-learning courses for stress resilience um and you can find some more information on my website which is elitemind.co.uk and um yeah connect with me on linkedin i guess if you want to see more of my my events and 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 what i'm doing and uh, um and, and where i'm speaking so you can follow me and uh, <laughs> engage yeah. and learn and benefit from connections <laughs> Absolutely. I, I would highly recommend it for everyone to follow Evelina. Um, she is uh, incredible in the work that she does. And in particular, if you are, you know, I know that uh, a lot of you that are listening to the show, uh, they are a bit of geeks. And they like the idea of neuroscience. They, they, they are passionate about performance, the brain. What Evelina does is groundbreaking. So follow her, follow her material, follow her stuff. And if you know someone or an organization that uh, is... Uh, uh, that is looking for this kind of material around performance, then make sure you get in touch with Evelina. I can highly recommend. Um, she already did uh, a training in Dubai for some of uh, Michelle's clients, uh, and uh, we had incredible reviews from the work that uh, that came back from from what you did there. So, this uh, you, everyone that hires you is in safe hands. <laughs> that's what they need. To, that's what they need to know. Thank you. I'm Thank going you to so put the links in the show notes. So. To, to, to wrap up, uh, Evelina, we are now concluding the part with uh, just called Because of GTEx. So I will ask you to complete the sentence mm -hmm. that we we'll start with Because of GTEx and something that is true to you that you got okay. from being in part of this community. So over to you. Yeah, well, because of GTEx, I'm visible to the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, that's brilliant. Thank you very much, Evelina. You're a superstar. And uh, thank everyone who has been watching live or has been uh, listening or watching the recording. Thank you for joining. And uh, if you want to get started your journey with GTEx as well, make sure you book a call. The link is gtex.events forward slash call. We'll have a chat. we we'll see where you are and how we can support you in either expanding your business or becoming more visible. Now, that's all for me and from Evelina. Thank you very much. Thank you, Simone. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Now. Bye.